is Valentine's Day. I'm recording this on Valentine's Day. I think me and Bella are gonna... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm so... I called the last one 27. I'm pretty sure it's actually 28, though. Well, I gotta get those tears out of my eyes. Holy shit. If any of you have hot sisters, hit me up. We're in the big leagues now on episode 29. On episode 30, I am doing the Mega Prestige. This is no longer a, a myth. We are actually doing it. Now, I had a good idea. Now, you know in Draft Champions, at least before when they actually really updated Draft Champions, at the start of the year, your base Draft Champions team would be like 65 overall silvers. And that's kind of how Wheel of Mutt started. We started with base 65 silver. But then when you go on to season three of Draft Champions, your base starting team is like 72, 73 overall gold. So when I do this mega prestige, maybe instead of a base silver team, I have a base gold team. Now on top of having the base gold team, I think what I wanna do is take two players with me into the abyss. And on top of that, I can get one player, any player that I want. No matter what. So for example, I could take with me Mel Blunt and Derek Brooks, and then I could go out and buy 97 overall Michael Vick, and then have him along with the rest of my gold team. Now these are all just possibilities. I could keep the team silver. I wanna know what you guys have to say. This is for the Mega Prestige. Now again, I'll reiterate this. The Mega Prestige, the point is that it's kinda lame that my team, like I'm a 90 overall, it's so good. So I don't wanna just keep building on, cause then this is just like a super squad, you know, thing. The point of Wheel of Mud is to build a super shitty team using only the wheel spins, right? And challenges and stuff like that. But at the same time, I want the Mega Prestige to incorporate all the work I put in. I put 30 episodes of work in. I should deserve something good out of all of that. Because I don't want to just wipe the slate clean. I know change sucks. I'm sure a lot of you would like the same ultimate team that we've been going with the whole time. But I got to mix it up. I got to stay fresh. got to stay on my feet. So without further ado, we're, we're in the big leagues now. We got a 90 overall. We're heading into a playoffs game. And I got my first wheel spin here. We're just going to land us on. Whoa. That has some potential, a team of the year defensive pack. All right, so this random pack will give me the team of the year defensive player. The sad thing, this is what I'm talking about with how good my team is. There's a lot of players I can get from this that would not be any better than what I already have. Actually, D tackles would be an upgrade. Oh God, there's probably a lot that would actually be an upgrade now that I think about it. Let's just get this pack, we'll go from there. Team of the year defensive reward pack. How much money you guys want to put on it that it's either either Kevin Bayard or Bjarne? Well, how do you say his name? How much you want to bet that it's Kevin or it's Geno Atkins? Now the good thing is Geno Atkins would actually really help the team. I don't have a D-tackle, so I would totally take a Geno Atkins. But Kevin, actually wait, Geno Atkins would be very good. And Kevin Bayard, however you say it, would be really good because I don't have a third corner and I can put him there. So both the shittiest pulls are very good. Actually what would be bad is a very, very good pull because I already have players in a lot of those positions. Like if I got a left end, whoever that is, I already have Aaron Donald. So let's hope we get one of the shitty pulls, which is really weird to say. Let's get this pack. I'm excited to open this. Three, two, one. Team of the year. Defensive award pack is gonna land yes. us on Kevin Fire. I'm not happy to see it, you know, because that's so lame that I got a 94, but it's the most common pull to get, like, actually, and it'll fit really well on the team. So, not mad, not glad. Oh my God, and in the daily objectives pack, I actually got 50,000 coins. That, like, never happens. He is a 91 at cornerback. He's got 94 zone coverage, which is awesome for a cornerback. So great. That's a great addition right there. I would totally take that. All right. So the first wheel spin treated us kind of nicely. Treat yourself. Three words for you. Treat yourself. So this next one is going to give us a all oh, limited snow beast. Please, let's go. I'm getting all of these that I haven't. I've had on the wheel for so long. That, that is another one that's been on the wheel for like three months. And I finally just got it. So... They had limited out of positions, and they also had limited snow beasts. There's a LaShawn McCoy, there's Chris Carter, there's Willie McGinnis. There's a couple others that I couldn't even name right now. So, I get the first limited snow beast that pops up on the screen right here. I don't even know if any of them will fit into my team anywhere. So, we'll just see who we can get. We'll see how it looks on the team, and we'll decide where we put them. And it's going to be the snow beast, zero chill snow beast. So, there's regular snow beasts. We're not counting those. I'm talking about the limited one only. They're like 95 overalls, I'm pretty sure, or 94, something like that. One, two, three. Zero chill snow beast. The first 95. 
is Shady McCoy. I, I kind of figured that was gonna be our first 95. Cause there's only, there's a Telvin Smith who I pulled in one of the boxes. He's a very good card. There's a Rod Woodson. Wow, that's a mean looking card. 95 overall, Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson, sorry, I suck. Ooh, there's a Michael Strahan too, who would not help me. So I kind of like Shady McCoy, cause that gives me a really solid backup or starting halfback to use. How is Shady McCoy a 95 overall? He doesn't even, doesn't even touch the surface of Barry's stats. Less strength, less agility. Oh, he has one more agility, I take it back. Or no, ba Barry has more agility. Less speed, less agility, less acceleration. Tell me how he's even a 95. Oh, that's why, because he has 58 impact block and Barry only has 50. I figured it out. Oh, it's because he has 31 finesse moves and Barry has 22. Okay, actually, admittedly, his wide receiver stat. 265,000 coins for the fake 95 overall of Sean McCoy. Still happy to add him, because that's like a cool ass, like that's cool to have. Uh, in a parallel universe, that Shady McCoy is the first halfback I just got in Wheel of Mutt, you know? What? You know what he could be? He'll be re he'll be my return man. That way I don't have to like gas Barry. Alrighty, got a new kick return part returner. I guess I can't complain. I mean, I can complain, I'm not gonna. And this will be the first episode where we get to see how Aaron Donald does in action and Jadavion at D-Tackle. Cool, I'll probably be putting him in some QB spies, which would be nice to have a fast D-Tackle there. And then Aaron Donald just has like the most godly stats like ever. That's that like one of the best cards in the game. And we're in the playoffs. So you already know we're about to play some cheesers. Plus it's like two in the morning. This is when the true tryhards are out, as I like to say. So this, is gonna, this should hopefully be a good game. We should get a dub, no rage quits will be my guess. Let's hop into it. Oh my god, I haven't hit the nut button all episode. Nut, 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 nut. Stop it. Get some help. I'm gonna hit it with my fucking dick. Hold up. What is that? Nut. Hey. Okay, so he's got the 98 Todd Gurley. Ooh. Look at that lineup, that all gold lineup. That looks so sick. So, he's got 98 Todd Gurley. And that was one of his best players. So I think he shelled out a lot of money for that. Five minute quarters. Ooh, this is his Super Bowl. Look at that. It's got Super Bowl 52 written on it. Super Bowl crashers in the Steelers jersey? Probably not. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Not as good as I should be at this game this year. And people, I mean, he's he bought the freaking jerseys of the pro players. And he's in his Super Bowl. He's gonna play really cheesy, and I have a good feeling he's gonna beat me. But we're gonna play this out nevertheless, hopefully keep the players we just grabbed. I'm gonna be kind of sad if we take a hard L on this. Let's see who he's using. So he's using a safety, and he just busted through the line. Impressively ballsy call. So very bad. Sorry, second and 13. Let's see if Tyree Kill can't. Oh, Tyree Kill's wide open right there, and we're gonna get back to the first down. These new jerseys look sick. Want an end around? Yes, end around. I want to try this. This is this a dumb, this is a stupid ass play. I want to try a stupid ass play. Randy Moss on the end around. Why not, right? See it? Give me a block. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we'll get a little fancy with it. Looks like he's getting some. Jesus, the pressure he's getting, but Randall Cunningham is barely gonna split through that. I can't believe he split that. That was really impressive. His man coverage is locking up quite well. I am surprised at the balls on this guy to run man coverage. That looks like a cover three, is it? We're gonna barely find Tyree Kill. We're throwing dots out here. We are throwing dots out here. I love it. I'm just gonna do a conservative run to the outside, try and pick up a couple yards, and then I'm gonna take my field goal. Because this is the Super Bowl, and I'm not getting fancy with it, but I could get a little bit more yards than expected. That spin was nasty, but it just, it wasn't quite enough. Oh, wow, he was ready for the fake. I like it. I think that's Boswell's gonna put it down the middle. Three to zero, MMG squad. Let's see how defense can play. Our defense is our strong suit on Wheel of Mutt, so hopefully they can come out and play well. Let's let Aaron Donald have some fun. Oh, and I accidentally was on Jadavian, which made that really unfortunate right there. Yeah, that sucked. Oh my God, he's gonna do this cheesy inside zone set. I'll be ready with Shazir. It's a play action on the cheesy set and Mel Blunt says, no thank you. Oh, that wasn't even Mel Blunt. That was Derrick Brooks. Ultimate legend Derrick Brooks was not having your cheese play today, my friend. It's not, it's a pass play. And I've got the middle locked up. Oh, you might. Throw that again, I dare you. He's got a corner strike. Oh, that's totally a corner strike. And Randy Moss does pick it off. Oh my God, he bobbled in his hand and he ended up getting it. Great break on the ball by Randy Moss. I'm feeling another blitz, so hopefully I can get outside of the blitz. Sides on this. Ooh, there is the blitz. You can't get outside of the blitz and break blocks. That is why you run Barry Sanders is gonna have his team to take it all the way to the end zone. 
Let's go. That was a, that was a thunder smoke. That's thunder smoke. I'm telling you. Thunder smoke. I'm getting smarter. I swear to God. All right, 10 to 0 in the Super Bowl. This man is choking away his Super Bowl, but the game ain't over yet. This is just the first quarter. This is, this, I will say, this is one of the best games that Matt and I have played. And I just kicked the ball straight out of bounds. I got this underneath route completely swamped. And who's going to get that? Miles Garrett's going to get the sack. Definitely a deep pass. PA crossers. That's PA crossers right there. He's going to throw that one. I knew it. Almost get the pick. Zero for four. Carson Wentz with one interception. Let's see how ballsy this guy is feeling. Yeah, that is the smart. That's the smart decision. This guy's in it for the long haul. He's not going to give up on a Super Bowl. I commend him. You should. And we're going to go. And I just put Shady McCoy back here. So let's see how Shady McCoy does on his first ever punt return. He's going to get a lot of yards. Is he going to return it on his first touch of the football shade of the coin? He's going to dance it for the end zone. Oh my god, I think it's the jersey, boys. I seriously think it's the jersey. Oh, 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 a little running man. 17 to 0 in the first quarter. This guy is about to get mercy. He's gonna have to take start taking some shots. He can't keep playing so conservative I got to see some more pressure from that Aaron Donald if I want to keep him if I want to bring him across on my mega prestige I'm gonna need to see a lot more output from him and Boom, he's gonna throw on the tiptoe and he is gonna make the catch unfortunately. Oh, he wants that underneath He's gonna throw it underneath. Oh, just kidding. He's just gonna run. I'm coming for you Carson Wentz, he knew it was coming buddy, didn't ya? I know he wants these short routes. He wants that right there and Carson Wentz. We gotta stop this guy We gotta put that QB spy on. He spied Clowney He's got the PA. Oh my gosh, and he stumbles back and bounce. He is in a full out set I'm I feel like he's gonna scramble. Oh my god. I absolutely <laughs> called it. What? How did Carson Wentz just do that? I'm calling it right here, and if it's not a QB sneak, it's gonna be an outside run Oh, the fullback! He gets pulled. That was the worst play you could have ran here. This is a big down right here. He's going for the touchdown on fourth and goal. I assume he wants to pass, and that is not going to be enough. What are you throwing at, Carson Wentz? That puts us on the three-yard line and in a great position to win this Super Bowl. Notorious the MMA. The Notorious MMA. Maybe I'm playing Conor McGregor. He's got a C as his logo. This could very well be Conor McGregor, which would explain why he's so bad. Oh! You guys feel another under smoke here? Just just cover one. Either way, I think this is going to be open. So it's not under smoke. It's totally not open because of how well that was covered. He's going to get one diver, two divers. No fucking way. I got 15 yards. I'm a god. I'm a god. Like, what? How did? How in God's name did I just do that? And it looks like we got another blitz. If I can just give this up to Randy Moss, he'll absolutely have to. And I'm going to put it in the end zone again. I am murdering this kid. Oh my god. What a pussy. I will give you 2 million coins to concede. Blow me. Oh my god. What a absolute Handsy. Two million coins to quit. Did you see that? Look at this. He messaged me. That's such a like stupid ass scammer thing to say. Cause even if I quit, there's no fucking way in hell this guy is giving me anything. That's a thunder smoke because this guy does not learn, I think would be the best way to put it. <laughs> I don't even want to take it in at this point, but I'm gonna do it. I said I was gonna run the clock and I I, I just juked the fuck out of him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think that's it for him. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Notorious the MMA. 32 to 0 at half. Goodbye, my friend. This will forever go down in my memory. This will forever go down in history. I will give you 2 million coins to concede. All right. The Wheel of Nut. I have to do the Ratchet recording, as you guys know. But there's nothing wrong with the Ratchet recording. As long as it gives us something good, it's going to be a college... College Special Edition! That's actually a super, super, super cool one. So there's only like four or five of these players. So I wanted to make sure I could actually just pick whoever I wanted. But the College Special Edition players were like, only like four of them. It was the Campus Heroes slash Campus Legends promo. Oh yeah, ironically, they called them Core Elite Players. That's what their program is called. But they're really, spe they're, they're really the college edition. So if I click Core Elite and then yeah, just 94, 95, they call them Core Elite. They're not Core Elite. So they're these cards right here, the limited time college edition cards. So DeMarco Murray is one of them. Definitely not getting him. Rashad Jones is kind of cool. Ooh, it's Marcel Darius. This Marcel Darius might have to be the pickup because that's a 95 D tackle right there. And it's hard to go wrong with that. All right, D tackle comparisons. I think Marcel Darius is a little bit better, although it's hard to say. All right, this is a cool one. This is a cool pickup. So we get to add a 95 overall to the team. The newly beautified team is a 91 overall. And defense yet again, I feel like I do this so fast. Defense 
defense is just out of this world. Like, if you look at a god squad, like a true god squad, where they spend millions and millions and millions of coins picking out any player they want, it's not much better than this. I am down to 3.7 mil. I had 10 mil, like, a week ago. That's wild. Either way, guys, that is it for today's episode. Crazy stuff going on. Episode 30 will be the last episode with this team. And at the end of that episode, I will be doing the mega prestige not a regular prestige the mega prestige by the time you see that episode i will have determined the rules for the mega prestige i don't know what they're gonna be yet i gotta see your guys comments first but once i figure that out that's when we're gonna do it you're gonna have to say goodbye to a lot of these players that we've come to love but you will say hello that's not a really game but you will say hello to some new players that you will learn to love all the memories tyreek all the memories with barry Gay. all the memories with shazir with jadavion with miles with boy if you don't <laughs> That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, as always.